Okay guys, this is a quick tutorial to take you through question 6 on the practice unit test and we're going to look at solving a system of equation in three variables using matrices on our calculator. So the first thing we need to do is go to our calculator, hit second function, and you can see matrix written there above the inverse function for x. And we can see that we've got the names of the different functions, so we can use multiple ones when we're solving. We're only going to use one. We go over to edit, and this is where we insert the numbers for our matrix, eh? and hit enter. First thing you do is make sure that your matrix A matches what we're dealing with. The first number is the number of rows, the second is the number of columns. So when we look at our equations, we have three equations, three rows, and we've got three columns of variables, or sorry, four columns of variables and constants. So we enter through that. The numbers that go into the matrix A are just the constants of the term, so there are no variables going into your matrix. The first con uh, coefficient is 2. That is going to be the first number in our matrix. And we hit enter. The second one is a negative y, which means that we've got negative 1 is our coefficient. We hit enter. And then we've got 2. And then the last number is the solution, the constant value, negative 3. It goes immediately down to the next one, so we have negative 1, 3, negative 2, and then 11. And the last equation, negative 2, plus, let's delete that, over to the next one, we have a positive 1, enter a 2, Enter, and then finally a negative 5. Enter. So now we can quit our matrix A. So we're back to a blank screen. We go into the matrix function again. This time we're going to do a calculation. So we're going over to the middle tab, which is math. And we're scrolling down until we find this RREF, which stands for Reduced Reduction Inter echelon form. We're going to use that one, so hit enter. And then we go back into the matrix A option again, and this is when we use the name. So it means we're going to select matrix A, A which has all the data we put in already. So hit enter. Close your parenthesis, and then just hit enter again, and it will do the calculation for you. Now your solution are the three numbers at the very end. The first one represents your first variable, which was x. The second number is our second variable, y. The third one is our third variable, z. So on your answer, um, on your sheet, you should open up a coordinate and type in your x value is 2, y value is 3, and z value is negative 2. Alternatively, you could do something like x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to negative 2. There's nothing wrong with that answer either, unless you are asked specifically to put your answer in coordinate form. And that's it.